When Roborock released their empty wash fill dock, aka the Ultra Dock as some call it, one of the largest criticisms was that Roborock did not include a hot air drying system to dry the wet mopping pads. Well, that has changed as Roborock has released an add-on dock dryer module for the dock. In this video, we're going to take a close look at it and show you how it installs and how well it does or doesn't work. In the box, you get two parts along with the user guide. Included is the dryer module and a new replacement front ramp for the dock. Installation is very easy. First, unplug and set aside the existing gray power cord for your dock. You will not reuse this. Next, you're going to want to remove the old ramp by firmly pulling straight up. This is another part that you will not reuse. Next, grab the new ramp and insert the dryer module firmly into the left side of the ramp. There's no click, just push firmly all the way in. Next, line the dryer module up with the base and press down on the ramp to click it in place. Now grab the shorter of the two power cords and plug that cord into the dock. Plug the longer power cord into the wall. This one power cord will power the dryer and the dock. Before we get into the performance test results, let's take a closer look at everything. On the ramp, you will notice a few air passages for hot air to come out. These are aimed directly at the mopping pad. We measured the air at around 96 degrees at the hottest spot, and I should mention the airflow was not very strong. To the right is an IR slash comm sensor that tells the air module when to kick on. Looking inside the main air channel where the dryer module plugs in, we see an electrical connector which communicates with that comm sensor. Looking at the dryer module, which interestingly is white in color, we see Roborock on the side and two power cords coming out of the back. On the top, we see a single button with LED indicator light and a sticker reminding us to enable the auto drying in the app. Speaking about the app, first make sure that you have the latest updated app from the Apple and or Android store. Going into the app here in Android, we want to go to the settings in the top right, then dock settings, and you're going to want to toggle on auto drying. It asks you to confirm that you have purchased the drying module and then it's going to let you select either two, three, or four hours, depending on how long you want the air dryer to stay on. And that's all you have to do in the app. The air dryer will automatically turn on after a mop wash cycle and turn off at the desired set time. If you want to manually start or stop a drying, that must be done with the physical button on top, as that option is strangely missing from the app. Roborock did not give us any specs on the power, so we shall get our own here. Turning the dryer module on, it peaks at about 0.78 amps, and quickly settles down to around 0.58 amps. It also uses around 38 watts of power. Both of these numbers are pretty low for anything that blows hot air, so I'm beginning to wonder about the effectiveness here. As for noise, the module is whisper quiet and only increases around three decibels of sound from about four feet away. Now for the most important part, which is how well does it work? To test how well it works, we must first look at how long it takes to completely air dry a wet mopping pad, and this is likely going to vary depending on where you live. I live in Florida, and it's pretty humid here. Letting the dock wash the pad and sit for four hours, I found the mopping pad to be still completely wet. Even after eight hours, most of the pad was still wet, and I noticed a damp, musty smell coming from it. In fact, it took around 18 hours to be completely 100% dry. After setting up the dryer module and again letting the dock wash the mopping pad, I found the pad to be about 70% dry after two hours of running the air drying module. Checking it again at the three hour mark, and I was a bit surprised to find that it was completely 100% dry. So this thing does work pretty well, especially for the low power draw. Well, in conclusion, if you want to make your Ultra Dock even more hands off, or you don't want a smelly mopping pad sitting on your robot all day, then this might be well worth the cost for you. I just wish Roborock would now include it in the box and give us one in gray. 
I'd love to hear from you if you think the hot air drying module is 100% necessary or not. If you have any questions, drop those down below and I promise to answer them. Till next time, take it easy everyone. Bye bye.